Hello everyone. Welcome to the CRM Essentials course. In the last lesson, we learned about lead pool. In this lesson, we will be learning about customers. Let's take a look at customers. We use F1-3 to represent the identifier of this feature set, customers. In the glossary, customers refers to individuals or organizations that have a relationship with a business or company. Once the true identity of a lead has been verified, the lead can be converted into a customer. Like leads, we may move customers that we're not currently following up on into the lead pool. During the process of contacting customers, you may discover multiple opportunities, some of which may lead to a deal. We will discuss these opportunities in the upcoming classes. You can see that the leads pool includes the following main features. You can see that the leads pool includes the following main features. Search customer, add customer, view customer details, edit customer, archive customer, and move to customer pool. We will use Xmind to draw the data structure. We can duplicate the content drawn in the previous lesson. Name it F1-3 customers. Then change the title to F1-3 customers. In the basic info section, we will add a customer tags item. This item is used to differentiate between different customers, for example, M industry scale, profitability, and so on. Next, we also need a customer types to differentiate the types of customers, such as distributors, resellers, retailers, affiliates, and partners. Then add an industry field. In the status info section, we will change lead status to purchase count, used to track the number of purchases by the customer. Then add not purchased and count subitems. We do not need customer purchase intent. This can be replaced with tags and customer levels. Add a customer intent item. Its subitems are basic, silver, gold, and diamond. In the related module section, we need to add a contacts module. Then there is the orders module, which is associated with this customer. There are opportunities, which are the business opportunities associated with this customer. Then there are payments, which are associated with the customer and orders. Finally, there are contracts. Contracts are generally associated directly with the customer. They may not be associated with orders, this depends on the specific business model. All right. Next, we will create the prototype based on the data structure. Now let's create the prototype. First, create a new folder named Customers. We can duplicate the lead management page and its branches since they are similar. Then, change their page names. Change the title to Customers. Delete Lead Status. Change the label to Customer Level. Then change the options to Basic, Silver, Gold, and Diamond. Rearrange the elements. Add a Contact Search option. Then change the table title and the text on the tabs. Remove the Move to Lead Pool button. Change the button label to New Customer. Add a Move to Customer Pool button. Then ungroup the table rows. Change one table header to customer level and modify the content of the table rows.
change another table header to purchase count. Then set the content to none or a number. Go to the New Customer page. Change the title to New Customer. Then delete Position and Department. Rearrange the elements. Create a drop down list for customer type. Then input the options distributors, resellers, retailers, affiliates, and partners. Then duplicate a multi select list. Change the label to customer type. Then input two tags texts. Then drag in a rectangle, duplicate several tags, and add a close button to create a panel for selecting common tags. Create them as a dynamic panel. Set it to be hidden. Select the Add button, add a click interaction, and show the dynamic panel. Check Bring to Front. Select the Close button. Add a click interaction and hide the dynamic panel. Copy the page elements, paste them onto the Edit Customer page. Delete the pasted two buttons and use the original buttons, as these buttons have interaction set. Then input content in the required fields. Modify the title name. Go to the Customer Details page. Change Lead Status to Customer Level. Add a Purchase Count. In the Tabs section, change Lead Details tab text to Customer Details. Then add Contact tab, Opportunities tab, Contracts tab, Orders tab, and Payments tab. Since these tabs involve content from future lessons, we will create their content in the upcoming lessons. In the Customer Details section, delete unnecessary elements. Correct the incorrect labels. Add a customer type and customer tag. Then in the Operations pop-up, delete the Convert to Customer option. Change the option to Move to Customer Pool.
then modify the corresponding title in the dynamic panel. Keep the other content unchanged. Next, let's modify the interactions. Go to Customer Management page. Select the customer name, change the open page to Customer Details. Then select the Edit button, change the open page to Edit Customer. Modify the page name. Then go to the New Customer page. Select the Submit button. Add a Hide Notice action. Then go to the Edit Customer page, select the Submit button. Add a Hide Notice action. Check the interactions on the Customer Details page. There's no need for modification. Go to the Frame page. Select the Customer Navigation. Add a click interaction. Open the Customer Management page in the inline frame. Preview the prototype. Click the Customers Navigation to open the Customers page. You can select options from the drop down list. You can switch tabs. Click on a customer name to open the Customer Details page. You can switch between different module tabs. Click the Edit button to display the Edit Customer page. Click the Submit button to display the successful submission notice. Return to the previous page. Click Operations, then select Move to Customer Pool to open the pop-up. Click Save to display the successful submission notice. Click the Archive button. Open the pop-up. Click Save to display the successful submission notice. Here, we need to add an interaction to the Back button to return to the previous page. That's all for this lesson. If you have any questions, please leave me a message. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel, give me a like, and share with others. Thank you.